When is the last time you changed your needle? And do you know which needle you should really be using for different threads, fabrics, and projects? Well, today you are in store for a little needle education with expert Rhonda Pierce from Smets Needles. Welcome to the Quilter on Fire podcast. Rhonda Pierce is the Stitch Savvy Marketing Director for Smets Needles. She offers her needle expertise around the world in workshops, lectures, monthly Facebook Live sessions, and she's also available to talk for your local guild. Once life returns back to normal, watch for Rhonda at quilting shows and events around the country. She'll be delighted to talk to you and to find out how you use your favorite Smets needle. Rhonda Pierce, welcome to the show. Well, hi, Brandy. I'm delighted to be here today. (laughs) I am so happy to get the scoop on needles. This is such an important topic for quilters and sewists. So let's get started by talking a little bit about your stitching story. Tell us how you got into sewing and quilting. I have always loved to sew and, and quilt. So was it planned or was my career destiny? (laughs) (laughs) I don't know. It was probably a little bit of of, of both, but I love what I do. I love um, all the uh, creative people that I come into uh, contact with. And so I, t- I said already earlier at the beginning of this podcast that I saw your lecture and it was fantastic. I learned so much. So can you tell us a little bit about the lecture you do for SNETs for quilt oh, shops sure. and guilds? Yes. Uh, yes. My, um, my talk is my Smets virtual talk is called um, Smets Get to the Point. Wow, that's a good <laughs> <And> title. <laughs> I actually um, use my Smets um, demo needle. This is 17 inches tall and anatomically correct. When I was traveling, I was always traveling uh, with this demo needle and my luggage was always inspected <laughs> by TSA. <laughs> But I'm traveling virtually now, so now I don't have to worry about um, TSA. But I talk about the physical needle, the parts and their function. I start off with that because uh, even though it might sound boring, it's really essential. When you're familiar with the parts and the functions of the needle, it helps you make an informed decision on what needle type and size to use. I talk about the color bands. What do the color bands on the Smith's needle represent? I talk about um, how to read the needle pack. You know, what do all these numbers mean on the little needle pack? You know, most everyone can guess um, or knows what the needle sizes are, but what do all those other numbers and letters mean? So I talk about that. Then I move into specific needles specific needles um, that are popular for piecing and for quilting. And there's five needle types popular for piecing and quilting. I talk about sewing with knits and what needles to use. I sometimes talk about uh, machine embroidery needles. And I also talk about the newest needle. And that's the Smets Super Nonstick Needle. So did you like this trailer? Click on the link in the description below to listen to the full podcast.